Hello and welcome to jkkmobile.com Another bits and pieces of computer parts here and uh, now this is about a mini PCI Express to ZIF adapter and uh, what's cool about this adapter is that uh, in a, it enables you to use ZIF connected devices on PCI Express slot EPCs not only that, it actually has uh, USB lines here so it's easy to solder. It also has a, a master and slave switch so you can switch either off. And uh, last but not least, SEDA solder, soldering points here. So this is great for hacking some EPCs. Uh, the story about this relates to uh, my early video like half a year ago when I was testing this I did the prototyping send it for manufacturing but the manufacturer uh, who was contacting me never actually sold any but uh, now this is on eBay someone else uh, I, I believe got got the samples and uh, make it happen so that's a good thing so now we'll I will show you how it works so I have my EPC 900A here, so this adapter will work on any EPC with a 70mm slot, but it's really good for 901. I don't have the 901 here, but I explained this with my 900A. So first let's take the battery out, always take the battery out before doing stuff. Let's zoom a bit more there. Okay, so first you need to remove the current SSD if you want to use it. And then this goes where the SSD just was. You, you get two different cables with that. One which has a, a, a thinner end, white end for hard drives and one with blue ends on both sides for different uh, kind of SSDs and uh, CF card adapters. But let's first put that there. So let's start with the, with the hard drive adapter. So you put the blue on top and close it. Now it's there. Then just bend it to the corner, put it in. Check the screw and screw it on. My my device used to have two screws, but I'm testing so many things all the time, so I now only use one. So now you have the SIF connector there. Next thing would be if if you are into putting hard drive there. Now on 901, it has a slot for it. I'm showing Here you go, so you can easily put the hard drive there and use this adapter. On 900A and uh, 900 and others, there is no place for the hard drive, but you could actually cut away the plastics on here and, and then put the hard drive there. It, it just barely fits there, but it's possible. But let's first test that uh, this actually works. So you have to put it this way so that the I'm zooming a bit again so you can see better. So the contacts go down like this. Okay, so white plastic on top. Then you have should be careful with that because actually the contact points are really close to the metal casing of, of many hard drives. So what I typically do when I'm doing stuff like this, I put small small tape here so you don't accidentally make the sparks fly so to speak so now I'm just having this here like that let's put the battery back so let's just boot it to show you that it actually works let me zoom a bit again so now the hard drive is just like that there. I don't want to mount the hard drive inside my computer because I have a fast SATA 
set a PCI Express card there, but I, I'm showing you what you could do if you wanted. So let's boot it up now. The hard drive is is there and it's booting from the hard drive. I have a basic Windows system there, but I'm not keep you waiting for the boot. So so as you can see, it's it's uh, suggesting me that I have uh, done something stupid last time, which I typically do, and we could now start the Windows. I will be stopping it so you don't have to wait, but as you can see, it works. So you can put hard drive to your 901, 1000 or 900 series of EPCs. Also, old 701s work because uh, they have the, the connector inside, but that's it. So, you can use hard drive. What else? You can also use a CF card adapter. So if you for some reason want, you can attach this here. And if you cut that away, actually that CF card adapter fits there quite nicely this way. So that's possible if you have plenty of CF cards you wanna for some reason use on, on your EPC, that's possible. Other possibility is to use uh, mini ZIF SSDs, uh, half mini ZIF SSDs. This uh, comes with a ZIF connector like the hard drives, but they are smaller. That's again a possibility. There's room for that too, like you can see. Possible, not maybe that that good, but still possible. Or of course you could could use a, a really fast fast SSD. Uh, it takes the same room as as a hard drive, so you could place that there and use the connectivity like that. On the 901, it's 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 more easier, especially if you need more room room uh, and uh, don't want to invest too fast and. Uh, and more expensive SSD. This is cool. Also, the cool thing is that uh, that you can access the SATA bus, SATA bus uh, by soldering soldering these uh, soldering points over there. All the USB on a 900A you can't get USB from from this bus, but on the 900 that works fine. So so that's how this works. So I will be doing some other stuff also I will test this on some other devices uh, as I think this could also work on the Dell Mini 9 but I have to test that later because uh, I just did something on my Mini 9 I don't want to open it today so maybe tomorrow but cool adapter the cost is only $15 if you need it for some reason check my site checkakmobile.com I have a link there it's only sold uh, in eBay right now I bought it from eBay so the eBay seller I'm linking uh, seems to be good it took like a week to arrive from Hong Kong to Finland so the service was was great okay that was all this time thank you for watching next time something else bye